And, and then the Patriots win the Super Bowl 28-24 to over Pete Carroll and the defending Super Bowl champion Seahawks. Uh, of course, that Super Bowl is known for the Malcolm Butler play, greatest play in Super Bowl history. Pete Carroll is known for making the worst call in Super Bowl history, and Russell Wilson makes the worst throw in Super Bowl history. Uh, they had Beast Mode, Marshawn Lynch, uh, who had a TD earlier in the game, and he had a big catch down the sideline in that final drive. But the word was Pete Carroll didn't want Marshawn Lynch, Beast Mode, to be MVP, so that's why they sent in that play for Russell Wilson to throw it on second down at the one. Ridiculous. And even before that, on first down, Marshawn Lynch went from the five to the one. Uh, and it was a great tackle by Hightower, saving him from going into the end zone. But Pete Carroll gets all the heat for that bad call, and it seems like Russell Wilson gets off the hook. When that call came in, Russell Wilson was the Super Bowl winning quarterback from the previous year, so he had cachet. He could have said to his players, we're not running this. I'm, I'm, I'll do a quarterback sneak, uh, and kind of burrow in, and, and then it'll be third down. And uh, uh, nope, and they didn't want to give it to Beast Mode. Instead, on second down, they hike it in the shotgun, going the other way. So just ridiculous call. Uh, Patriots, Tom Brady, we remember he was jumping on the sideline when, uh, when Malcolm Butler made the greatest play in Super Bowl history. And uh, to Pats fans, that's our good buddy, our good old buddy Pete Carroll, who was the coach of the Patriots for three years, didn't do that good of a job after Bill Parcells left him a, a great, great team. When Bill Parcells stepped down after going to the Super Bowl, Pete Carroll was our coach for three years. They went to the playoffs twice, never even close to uh, uh, realizing their potential. But Pete Carroll just, uh, he still must stare at the ceiling at night after that call. Because they were, you know, you're at the one yard line, you, you know, if you're betting in Las Vegas, you, you're kind of saying uh, you, your odds are good that you're going to win that ball game. They would have won back-to-back -back against Peyton Manning and against Brady. But, nope, they want to throw it on second second down. And when uh, when I see a Seahawks fan, if I got my Patriots hat on, for the first thing they look up, like, oh, boy. And, and so Seahawks fans are still, and they'll never get over that, uh, you know, that just the worst call and the worst throw in Super Bowl history by the Seahawks. But uh, Tom Brady... He got to uh, uh, four championships on that day, and he's now Brady had a four and two Super Bowl record, and uh, uh, but what a game against the Seahawks! Some people so now let's uh, go into a little more detail about the 2014 Super Bowl. That was the Super Bowl where the Patriots beat Pete Carroll and the Seahawks, the defending champs, because the year before the Seahawks crushed Denver 43 to eight. So. Again, that Super Bowl is known for Malcolm Butler, uh, Pete Carroll, worst call in Super Bowl history, Russell Wilson, worst play, throw in Super Bowl history, and, uh, th you know, they didn't want to give it to Beast Mode, Marshawn Lynch on the one-yard line. Uh, Patriots fans aren't complaining, but just absolute disaster. Uh, in that game... Russell Wilson threw a pass, and we remember it was bobbled, and they caught it, and Malcolm Butler pushed the guy out of bounds at the five. Then they ran it on first down to beast mode. Beast mode went from the five to the one, and then that's when all confusion happened because Pete Carroll thought that Belichick was going to call a timeout, and he didn't, and it wasted 40 seconds. If you look at that on YouTube, you'll blow your mind because Seattle had second down, at the one yard line, plus a timeout and over a minute left. They had everything there. They could have called the timeout, say, slow down, call a timeout. No, they wasted 45 seconds because they thought Belichick was going to call a timeout. And what Belichick did was he just left his defense on the field and he said, just play base defense. Uh, because Belichick is known for, he'll let like Josh McDaniels and, and uh, you know, Defensive coordinators run the defense, and it's a lot of times Belichick's looking at the other coach. And he obviously uh, did a great job in that, uh, you know, with the Malcolm Butler. You go, but Pete Carroll and uh, Bevel was the offensive coordinator for Seattle, and Russell Wilson must have been saying, who's this guy, undrafted rookie Malcolm Butler? 
So we, we, we could take him on. Oh, but if you watch that play, Malcolm Butler's in the back. Browner, who he played for Seattle the year before and helped them get a ring. Now he's in the Super Bowl uh, with the Patriots. He turned around like this and he said to Malcolm Butler, the pick play's coming. And you can see on that play, Browner doesn't let his the receiver go anyway. He kind of stops like that. The other receiver makes the play. Malcolm Butler breaks for it, and the rest is history. Uh, you know, considered one of the great Super Bowls that uh, beating Seattle and Pete Carroll uh, is Patriots fans, or I like to say Pete Carroll is one of Patriots fans' best buddies. Another great buddy for Patriots fans is Dan Quinn. And the Another thing is, which I didn't realize, uh, you know, doing some research for this show, Browner was on that Seahawks team that won the Super Bowl. Yeah. He was on the Patriots the next year. Yep. So now let's switch to that play where Richard Sherman's kind of involved with Browner, the Malcolm Butler game. The yep. Seahawks are going for back-to-back. -back. They're on the one-yard line. I was one what salty 49ers yep. fan. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, as a 49ers <laughs> fan, obviously there's not much better than the 49ers winning the Super Bowl, but a close second is, you know, one of my favorite players in Tom Brady winning. Uh, yep. But... The Seahawks losing, right? right? Yep. They, they had just taken the, the Super Bowl from the 49ers um, the, the, the year before. Then they, they get back, and it's like, right. really, like they've got this young quarterback, this crazy good defense, and here they are in the Super Bowl again. And it looked like they're going to win. They, they right. have, you know, the Patriots have something about them in the Super Bowl where other wide receivers just make these otherworldly plays, yeah. right? You know, obviously we talk about the helmet catch, Demario Manningham sideline catch. Yep. And then it happens again right. with uh, Jermaine Curse, I think it was, where he kicks it in the air and pulls it in, and it's like, is this really happening? So, as as a as a Forty Niners fan and a and a, and a, a you know not necessarily a Patriots fan, but a, a Tom Brady fan, I'm like, this can't be really happening. Yep. I, I'm rooting for the Seahawks to lose more than anything, and there they go, one yard line. Donta Hightower makes this incredible tackle to stop right. Lynch, and instead of going back to them, they try to throw it. Malcolm Butler makes one of the best Super Bowl plays we've ever seen, and we we ever probably right. will see. You know, uh, it, it, it always reminds me of the play in the Titans and Rams Super Bowl. Yep. You know when he stopped. Oh yeah. It was it was a little different, but um, like you're right there. Right. You're right there, about to win the game, and then yeah, two yeah. inches. That's it. That's it. Football's a game of inches. Yep. And you know Malcolm Butler made a name for himself. He 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 sealed another victory for Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. Um, and what an incredible performance by him in that game. Just one of, like like we've talked about, it's one of the best defenses we've ever seen in those yep. Seahawks teams. And he carved them up. You know he had something like 350 yards and four touchdowns. They were down by two touchdowns in that game twice, right. and they came back both times. Yep. And it was just some incredible performance yeah. and, and uh, like on the, the last show we did we were talking about Richard Sherman in that game where I back up Richard Sherman calling out Pete Carroll what are you doing yeah uh, because they were going for back to back yeah and that defense would have been ranked if they would have won that well I think with the 85 Bears uh, so